Hi everybody, it's John at Velocity Imaging Products. Going to be showing you how to add a new scan to email um, in the address book of your Sharp multifunctional device. Today we're going to be adding an uh, email address to a 2640, but it is pretty much the same in most of the Sharp MFPs. First thing you want to do is get to your printer's web page, your multifunctional device's web page. Um, we've shown in a previous video how to do that. Once you're here, you don't even need to log in as an administrator. You can just go to the address book. Once you get to the address book, a new window will pop up. You can just add. And once you add, the only two areas you're going to need to add, say required by it. See this address name? Required. And then down here, email address, required. Those are the only two important ones. This one, I'm just going to use it as test, test. And that is the name of the actual button or the address location that is at the MFP. And then right here, you would put your test at velocitysd.com. That's where you'd put your actual email address right there. Um, if you want to add it to the frequent use index, so it's the first one that pops up when you open up the email address, you're going to want to select frequent use. And you're going to want to, because Sharps have the ability to have multiple email addresses for one uh, person, you're going to want to add this email address that you want to be the default as the default. Once you've done that, all you need to do is submit or submit and register in Next if you have multiple email addresses to do. So once we go submit, it will register that it's taken, it's processed. And then when you go back to your address book, you will see your test right there with the email address that we put in. That's it, everybody. Hope that helps. Thanks.